2012 Focus that I'm adding the cruise control to. Um, this thing's not a big deal. Mainly you just get another steering wheel. I already took the airbag off. I'm not going to show that on video. There are plenty of videos on how to take it off. Basically, just poke these kind of little nooks back here. This one or this one or these little ones. A lot of the videos don't tell you about the little nook. Look up some videos. I'll put one in the link in the description um, that'll show you how to uh, get the airbag off. It's kind of annoying, so I didn't want to show it on video. Anyways, so to add cruise control, you do not need another clock spring. All you need is the steering wheel with the new buttons. You need the new steering wheel because it's got the mounting points for the cruise buttons that are going to come in right here. So you do need another steering wheel. Go get it at a junkyard. There's plenty of focuses at a junkyard with uh, cruise control on the right steering wheel. Go pull it off, rip the airbag off. All you need is to take the airbag off and then a 24 for this one. And uh, for the airbag, I use a flathead screwdriver and these kind of little hooks and stuff um, to pull off the airbag controls. So I'm gonna show you this. This one has way fewer pins. You see that it's missing a bunch of pins in this connector. And this is the connector to the uh, for these buttons right here. The airbag ones are right here, right? But these are for these buttons, um, the ones on the airbag. It's got a few um, buttons to control the various screens we got up in there. <clears throat> Anyways, you pull this one off and you see the clock spring has far more pins than the connector does because that clock spring is ready to receive the other one. The car is already set up for cruise control. It's an electronic throttle. Don't bother with aftermarket cruise control kits. This is far cheaper, far simpler way to just get it done. <clears throat> Uh, so we get a 24 millimeter um, impact gun in the socket, pull the wheel off, and we'll slap our other wheel on. I'll be back in a second. Off that bolt with the impact gun. We're going to wiggle the wheel off. And carefully not lose our position on the clock spring. It's more or less there. You know, more or less straight. The wheel will go onto that. It doesn't have splines. I guess, I don't know if you can adjust your alignment, if you will, with the splines, but the fact that it hasn't got splines makes it a bit easier. So basically, changing, changing the wheel assembly with buttons. I'll be back with the new wheel. I'm gonna pop that on there. And the last thing I'm gonna show you is the programming. Steering wheel's back on after a really badly done carbon fiber wrap, but who cares? It's bad. It looks better than the peeling paint. Get the car sold. So what I'm doing is I'm connecting with Forescan. You know, if you don't know how to use the software, go ahead and look online. I got the adapter with the little switch on it. Um, go ahead and look online, research uh, the problem. But in any case, um, I'm going to go ahead and program in the steering wheel. So here we are, I'm doing another central configuration. This time I got the camera running. And uh, yeah, you may get some messages on the screen about computer or engine malfunction or a bunch of stuff while you're writing to the data. Make sure your laptop's fully charged. Make sure your car battery's all charged up. They got a little voltmeter for you in the corner down there. Lower right hand corner. Right there, it's reading 11.7 volts. It's for you to check on it. Anyways, I went and wrote cruise control to the body control module. Now I'm going to check the IPC, some of the other modules, and check if there's anything that's cruise control relevant. And I'll uh, make a little more detailed instructions in the description. But if you have an adapter with the HS MS CAN switch, you have to be toggling that here and there. The IPC, the instrument uh, panel control module, that one's mainly going to do with the, um, the controls up here. And the body control module deals with basically everything but the ECU itself. So they want me to turn yeah, the yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. I turn it off. Okay. And here we go. And yeah, this is the central configuration here. If you don't do the central one, it's not going to do its thing. So there it says cruise control. Without cruise control. Edit selected. To cruise control check and we will put right check 
Turn the ignition on, but don't start the engine. I should have turned off that I door open time. So we wouldn't have to listen to it. I can close the door. There it goes, it's writing. So again, the one that I did earlier on the body control module, um, it's the same process. Basically what I did, but you're gonna do it on the body control module main and I'll throw you the screenshots of it, how to do it right now. Just kind of let that load, wait for it. Sorry about the door open chime. I should have just closed the goddamn door instead of just uh, reprogramming it. I didn't want to um, program it out. I kind of like that feature that it that it beeps when your key's in. So you don't leave your key in the car. I don't think it'll lock without the key. Maybe I don't really need that feature. Still loading. There's a steering wheel, really bad carbon fiber tape. Really pretty bad. It's got this cover that came with it, but it's way better than the last wheel. It's just falling apart. It's like the rubberized one. This is a fake leather one. Please cycle the ignition off and then back on. Off and then back on. Oh, fuck. Turn the car on. I don't think that that matters, though. Program successfully. And then I'm gonna go for this right to me. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I think I should uh, probably exit. Turn the car to off. And um, let me see if what happens if I hit run. Yeah, I'm gonna run it again, and this time right to main with the car off. I don't, I don't want to risk having the car running while I'm doing this. The key is in the on position, the final position, but it's it's not on. So here we go again. I guess you write to a backup and then they flash that to the main one. It's probably a good a good feature for people that want to mess with their uh, their car features too much and start experimenting or something. There's a bunch of uh, options on here. Alarm, no alarm. There's got to be some other cool thing that I can enable on here. Speed limitation. Oh, I've got no speed limit on there right now. That's cool. No governor. Try this thing 130 or what? I don't know what adjustable speed limiter is. But uh, I always see people enabling that with the cruise control. I don't know if you need to do that. I'm going to try it without doing that first. And we will put right to main. Yes. Please turn the ignition on, but don't start the engine. There we go right into the main file. In the HS can position and push okay. There it goes. And I'm gonna let that load. Cycle the ignition off and then back on. Oh, and that whole adjustable speed limiter crap, that's something that uh, I guess it detects 
the speed limit in a certain region and it slows you down. Yeah, I don't need that. We're in, we ain't in fucking, uh, I don't know what, France or something where they got all kind of the EU, where they got all kind of rules like that. I'm not trying to make use of such features. So I think we're good here. I'm going to hit um, stop. We'll go back to configuration and programming. We have IPC module as built format. As built, it's like a whole jumble of numbers that's kind of a nuisance to deal with. IPC module configuration. Central configuration, we did that. I don't know what GPSM, ACM, FDIM. This is the restraint control module, the ABS. I don't think any of these... Uh, are part of it. Transmission control module. I think it might be good. I think I should go on the highway and test it now. I got the car on now and I think it worked. I just did the IPC, the main configuration, the body control mod module, main configuration, and then I wrote it to the um, backup of the body control module and then flashed the backup to the main one. And the reason I think it worked is to have the car on, cruise control standby. It's asking me to set miles per hour. I'm gonna go out on the highway and test it.